Hello peeps, this is Sausage Fingers and welcome back to Subnautica. Before I start, every morning when I wake up, I turn on my computer and with my coffee, I read through my comments and try and answer you guys as best as I can. Every now and then, I get a blinder of a comment. So, here it is. Grim Grip... Grim Grithius. I'll read the second bit. Just a heads up, if you build a bunch of vertical connectors on top of one another leading to different levels of your base, you only have to build a single ladder inside and it will take you up down the length of multiple levels instantly, regardless of height. Also, and this is just an idea, but I'm pretty sure you can build them through the ceiling of the Tree Cove Cavern and they'll clear away a small tunnel of the train automatically so you don't get rocks clipping into the building or blocking your way. You could theoretically use this to build a path all the way to the top of the sea level and be able to transition from your base to the surface instantaneously in one click, as opposed to climbing dozens of ladders or making the long trek back through the caves in one of your vehicles. This would also give you the ability to make use of solar panels since the shallow base and the deep base would be connected by the vertical connectors, making it still technically one massive connected structure. You could even go so far as to build an additional seam of Cyclops moon pool specifically for the above ground ocean and leave the other Cyclops seam off down under for deep sea exploration. This would also solve the issue of not being able to use the mobile vehicle bay since it needs to be above water to be activated. Hope I could be of help. Sorry my comments are so damn long. Well, Grim Griffius, that is an awesome comment and that is exactly what I am going to do today. So, Thank you very much. Yes. Vertical connectors all the way up to the surface. Let's get outside and I will show you the plan that Grim Griffius has so cunningly come up with that I am going to emulate. Now, don't glitch out on me, Subnautica, you punk. From the top of here, if I can, I will build said vertical connectors up, 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 all the way through the roof, all the way up to the surface. Yes. I'm going to build said surface base because it would be wicked to have solar panels as well and an instant way to get up the top. Marvellous, marvellous. Let's get on this veritable buffet of building goodness. Vertical connectors are only two titanium. Can I just shove them? I think I have to build a corridor section. I don't think I can just bung them straight on here. But it's not an issue. It is not an issue at all. I think before I do this, I'm going to have to do a lot of integrificating. I think that ladder's going to be in the way, but hey ho, hey ho. Now I should be able to whop a vertical connector straight on there. I can, but I ain't got any titanium left. Damn. Oh, can I not build the ladder until it's finished? Until it's networked to another room, I don't think. This is going to look quite funky. I am having a few frame rate issues. I hope it's not going to get worse as we go. Because I've not actually built that much in theory. The only bit I'm worried about is whether this will go through the rocks. Hopefully it will, because it worked when I had to get my Seamoth out last last series. I'm just going to take a look at this, peeps. Right, check this out. I did not put this many fish in here yesterday. I've already been eating them today. Look at this! I have got a buffet here, ain't I? I, can't, I can hardly move in here. My eggs have hatched. So. Yeah, look. The tiny little jelly rays. Nope, that's a massive great big one. Look, see what I mean? Frame rate. I think it's this fish tank. Look. I've got my baby jelly rays in there. They'll start breeding as well now. Yeah. God damn, I love this game. I don't know if this is. I hope it's going to. I so hope it's going to work. But can I get... I can. I can get up around it. Oh, my God. Sweet suffering succotash. 
This is just a maze balls, right? I'm happy days. I was quite worried about this. It works. Grim Griffius, you legend. I've got to watch me air now, though. Another thing I've got to say about this game is it seems to attract an amazing community. I would expect more trolls on my on my videos, a lot more trolls. But you guys, you just seem to help. Even when I make the biggest cock-ups in the world, you just like, yeah, you doofus, just try this. And yeah, you don't like tell me to die or to get killed in a car crash or anything. It's amazing. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Does mean a lot, peeps. It really does. Right, I am a hundred percent out of titanium now, so I need to proper go shopping again. I'm just going to get Welcome some aboard, batteries as well. All systems are... Right, peeps. We've got to have a look. Right, I'm going to show you where my base is from here. Right, my base is there. Yesterday I went up there. Today. Look what we found. We are right next to that base. Oh my god. I've got... Yeah. What the hell? Can you get in this now? You couldn't get in this before. Can I drive in it? Oh! No! <laughs> Oh, never mind. But look, they've it's been smashed to bits, isn't it? I believe this is the one where the sea dragon escaped from. Oh, or was it the sea emperor? I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But either way, it's knackered. And this is right next to our base. I don't know what these pink bits are. These this with the gun, it meant they was adding stuff. So there's more to come here. Oh, this is exciting times. Look at this. Only come out looking for blooming titanium. don't like that noise. I hope he's not still in there. What the hell? I'm nowhere near the active lava zone where he lives. Is it the sea dragon leviathan he's called now? Yeah. What? Ah, you little badgers. Naff off. My base is over there, isn't it? Let's hit this way, just to see. Just to see what's going on. Right, I've checked out all the nooks and crannies in here. So I haven't missed anything. Let's go. Let's go and find some titanium. Look, these hammered my seam off yesterday, these blooming things. Is that a bony bony river fascist, we'll call them? Damn it! He got me. Come on, power back on. Thank you. Right, just while I'm waiting for my air to go up a little bit, let's have a look at this. I'm meaning to. I've been meaning to do it for ages, but I think the stripes are going to have to be yellow. Base is going to have to be black. Name is gonna have to be yellow, like the SFG logo, of course. And that will go yellow as well. We'll take a quick look. Yeah, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Leo. Yeah. Right, I'll be honest with you, peeps. 
I actually could not find any more titanium in the game, so I've had to reboot the game So in the hopes that, that more titanium will spawn. Luckily it has, so <laughs> I've been out shopping again, but I think I just raided the whole planet of titanium. I couldn't find any of it. All I could find was like copper, silver, all I could find. I was getting like silver, gold, copper, all that sort of stuff, but I just can't, could not find any more titanium at all. So yeah, we've had a reboot. I'm going to keep chatting to show you the scale of the dig that we've done so far. This has been absolutely crazy. This has taken me oh, two and a half hours so far. And I'm just hoping the game don't lag too much when I built this. It's quite an epic build. We're still not at the top, damn it. Come on, we're nearly there. No, I won't do that yet. Hey, there's the top. Right, there we go. Let's get building again. It's got to be soon, isn't it? 568 metres we're at. Knowing my luck... We're going to build and we'll go straight up to through the centre of the mountain. So we'll actually, like, not even be in the water. However, it would be a cool base, though. Right, what I'm having to do, peeps, is basically build another air tank. I'm having to go so far that by the time I get up there, it's time to come back. So I need to be able to lay all these pipes, obviously, and breathe while I'm doing it. So, <laughs> to that end, another high-capacity tank. That'll do. Right, peeps, I'm gonna try something new here. This trip is like two minutes either way now. You can't even see the bottom, look. So what I'm gonna do is I hope I can take this out at a later point. Oh, this is glitching again, isn't it? Right. Are you gonna let me put that up there? Are you? Yes, you are. Let's see if we can build another corridor above this one. I need the space. Yes. Okay. Right, I'm going to take this ladder away. Now, in theory, because there's a blooming thing there, I should be able to just chuck a ladder in here, shouldn't I? Yes, I can. And I should be able to get straight up the top now. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh no. Right, we've still we're right up though. I've got air and we're up. So I can deconstruct this. You're gonna let me put that there? This should give me a bit of space. Am I going to be in it? Or trapped against a wall somewhere? I am kind of... a bit glitched, aren't I? Right, this is the hatch end. Alright, oh, now I'm in it, okay. You still haven't given me room... Have you given me enough room? Yeah, you little dancer. Right, I can deconstruct this now. We're out. It's all right. We've only got to go to it. This has gone from two and a half to three minute commute. And I'll show you how long it takes to get to the bottom now. Using the theory that Grim Griffius gave us in the first place, we can sort of save ourselves a lot of work. I'm sure there was another bit of titanium here. I want it. There it is. Yes. So we should be able to just go in here now. Two and a half minutes. Bosh. There we go. That is it. Seconds. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now we're home. I forgot these were in here. So, Bosh and a glass. And I've got me a bit of titanium. Let's sling that in here. Yeah. Vehicle modification station. No! You son of... Oh, my God. Here we go. Bosh. There it is. Done. Nothing docked at the moment because he was at my tunnel. 
I'm going to swim down here and then go up my massive, massive escape hatch. I'll tie this in better to the base. Yes. So I'll put it available from different floors and stuff. At another point. Not yet, though. Let's get this done. We're only at 200 metres. Oh, my God. Sandy. Oh, is this it? Is this the one? No. Don't do this. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yes! I'm going straight for the surface. Go on, me. Oh, the sun is setting. It would be, wouldn't it? Right, I'll tell you what, peeps. I am going to use one cheat, and it is going to be the daytime cheat, because I just can't record in the dark. I cannot stand up here and wait until the day comes out. That is the only cheat I am going to use. So, yes, I, it's official. I have cheated, but I just can't deal with the night time. It doesn't... You guys can't see it. I can only just see it. So, yeah, sod that. I... <laughs> I can't believe we made it. 20. Oh, we're nearly there. <gasps> Yay! Right. Loads of air. And, you're right, Grim Griffius, we are well shallow enough to use solar panels. How much have I got? 612. So that's another six vertical connectors. Or, I could just slam in a few of the old foundations now. And a multi-purpose... Hang on a minute. We could get this going right now. Ah! Just drop a scanner! Here. Let's get back up to the surface. I've got a cunning plan. A plan so cunning, it will make a fox say, Wow, that's a cunning plan. I think the foundation is four. I think a multi-purpose room is six. But then I need a hatch and I haven't got any glass. So my idea sucks. Okay. There's my hole. Right, look at that, man. Right under a tree. <laughs> I'm going to have to build right through that, I think, ain't I? Shame you haven't got the terraform at all anymore. I might as well get the rest of these out. Yeah, we'll go right to the surface, I think. There. Hey ho, the tree is dead. That worked out okay, that did. Look at that. Poor little piece of tree left. Right. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Oh man, it's a bit laggy. Okay, I need to build one of these, don't I? So that goes on there. Shame it doesn't build straight onto a multi purpose room, really. But, that's okay, we can stick one here. Now, should be able to stick an hatch on this end. And that is in. Right, are we in? We're in. There. Right, the graphics have caught up a little bit now as well, so we shouldn't lag so much. Oh, 
Wait, wait, I had it. There it is. Now we're good to go. Now this floor is kind of a write-off. There's an inherent flaw in the game. Wherein, if that's between the surface and the water, it the water will show in the building as well. Which is a bit of a bummer. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh. Right, I appear to be having a few issues building this. I must be building it the wrong way. I suppose it's got to tie in with whatever's down there. And my god, is it glitchy. I might have to do this from down the bottom. It just won't build here. You've done it, ain't ya? You've only gone and done it. You have. Right. Let's put that away. Yes. We are in, peeps. We are in. Now, if I put another ladder up here. I'll show you this glitch that I'm on about. They might have squared it away, but I don't think they have. Yeah, look, because this is in between the water and the Ujimi Flogum, it's a bit of an issue, that. But we're not going to use this room. This is a dead room. Now, I don't know why I can build this here. But I just can. So this is where it's going. Now. Move that hatch. What are you doing? He won't let me build on there. No, don't do this to me. It's okay, because we can put more foundation here. Oh, it's goddamn night time. I hate night time. It's rubbish. Come on. Just plonk it on it. That's it. Now, our pretty little tunnel... Yeah. Hatch, wait. Don't mind if I do. Now we are proper above the water. That is it. All right, I've got one more item to put in here. And that is us pretty much squared away in here, I think. For the time being, anyway. Where are you, interior pieces? There you are. Oh yeah. And a big fat save. So, we can get out. There's the Aurora over there. Look, there's our old place. I can go and nick the solar panels off of that now. Well, not now, but I will do at a later date. We're going to have a massive great big foundation now. We can have our gardens up here with all our surface plants. They grow really well on the surface. Yeah. This is I don't know what this room is going to be, but this is a below surface hatch. As Grim Griffius says, now we can stick everything up here. We can have moon pools, scanner room, all that sort of malarkey. We are in the mushroom biome by the looks of it. So that's a very good place to be as well. It's not a dangerous biome, it's quite a safe biome, it's good. Now let's what was a two and a half no, it was two and a half minutes from the midpoint and two and a half minutes downward. So let's see how long it takes. Bosh, that's us at the middle. And then, bosh, that's us down again. That's quite an insane build, that. I, oh, this has taken me absolutely <laughs> hours upon hours. It's going to be so much easier getting stuff. Just getting everything is going to be so much easier now. Sorry, it has been another building episode, predominantly. I'll crack on. I'm going to I'm gonna go to every single life pod next episode. So that should be good fun. Let's go up here, because I like being in here. It's nice. Here. Oh, he's get, get out of my house, you stupid fish. Yeah, anyway, what I'm going to do next episode, I am going to go and find every single life pod. The reason I'm going to do that is because there's loads and loads of PDAs. And in a lot of those PDAs are codes for the rooms in the Aurora. 
I want to go in the Aurora, get all the stuff out of there, get the radiation switched off. That is an epic mission. That will probably be an extra long episode where I go in the Aurora. I might, might do like 45 minutes to an hour, but I want to know what you guys think. Is 20 minutes enough? Half an hour? Or 45 minutes? Yeah, whatever. Just let me know what's the best length for you guys. Peeps, that was hard work. That was really hard work, that episode. But I'm so glad it's done now. That, <laughs> that was crazy. Get out of it, fishy. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like and a subscribe. I will see you soon. Laters.